Equality South West does some really, really important work. We try to make the whole region a fairer and more equal place in which people can live and work and prosper. We work to actually remove the barriers to equality that are faced by different groups in our society. There are many such groups, we call them equality strands, but they might be, for example, for women, it might be because of people's sexuality, it might be because of how old people are. It isn't only those people who are suffering, but actually the whole of our society is poorer because they're not able to use their talents and their skills and their expertise for the good of everybody. Ocean Housing Group is a large successful expanding social enterprise in Cornwall. We are a housing association which is a not-for-profit organisation providing social housing in the county. We first got involved with Equality South West in about January 2009 when we were looking for somebody to work with us on raising our awareness of equality and diversity and helping develop an education programme for us. We asked ESW for help, um, mainly because of, from our first contact with them, the quality and professionalism of the team that we worked with was really good. And what they were able to do was simplify what was a very complex and, and mystifying subject to us. They've been developing training programmes to help raise awareness for our staff who have to meet our customers, which can be a diverse group of people. So we've had a three-year rolling training programme. It will mean that we're more accessible to our customers. We have a very vulnerable group of people that we're supporting and educating both our staff and our customers will ensure that people understand what equality is and the value of diversity. The sort of proactive nature of understanding our customers better um, means that scarce resources can be targeted in the right places and that just means that we'll be more successful as a business. I think for all our members and the private sector companies I represent, be they small companies or, or, or big companies, um, making sure that uh, you access all the customers you can of whatever colour or race or religion or disability is important. Um, it's a tough old world out there so you need to make sure that your products and services are accessible by all customers. Some suppliers won't, sell, won't, won't, won't work with you if you've got the wrong kind of attitude or the, if you're kind of blinkered in some shape or form. So I think from a private sector point of view, it's, it's very commercial. It's about customers, it's about suppliers and it's about staff. There's no doubt that with changes in public sector funding and there's going to be less and less uh, public sector contracts around, more and more big authorities, big public bodies are going to look to the private sector to do things for them rather than have their in-house staff. When public sector buys contracts from small companies or middle-sized companies, it wants them to adhere to kind of their policies and on, on rights and diversity as well. So it's going to be important for small companies and middle-sized companies to understand they've got a new public sector supplier possibly that demands different things of them. It's really important for public bodies such as Bristol City Council to promote equality, not just because it's morally the right thing to do, but importantly we, are, we have a legal framework that all public bodies uh, are governed by. And that is to ensure that individuals, members of our staff, uh, all feel protected by law. The Equality Act 2010 is a crucial part of ensuring that all uh, of our staff within the council understand the vision for Bristol City Council, not just from a legal perspective, but actually morally how we operate as a council will have an impact on our communities and the communities we serve. I think the Equality Standard is another tool that will assist those agencies that perhaps are thinking, well, what does the Equality Act mean for me and for my business moving forward? And I think the SW Equality Standard will provide the training, the necessary training and information that will enable those agencies to actually value and see a business model for uh, equality and diversity. I think once agencies receive the standard and they can be monitored on that standard, it will certainly allow us as a public body to feel far more confident and far more able to engage with um, those service providers, understanding that they too, when they look at staffing, when they look at recruitment and retention, 
understand the importance and give weight and importance to equality and diversity in the same way as public bodies have to by law. Mm -hmm.